Hi, I'm Robin. I'm an artist and instructor here at the Bainbridge Island Museum of Art with another Art in Action. Today, we're going to be going over how to create a foraged flower crown. So for this project, you will need a pair of scissors. You will need some item. We're gonna be doing a braided flower crown. So I'm using yarn to braid mine uh, with the natural material. You could also use something similar to a ribbon or a rope, whatever you have around your house. Optional is some tape. And then you need all your different foraged materials that you find outside. And the least obvious material that you might need is time because you're going to definitely need time to go out and explore all the different items that you can be picking for these flower crowns. I love to forage and specifically for flowers for flower crowns. It's a great way to connect with your natural landscape and see what is out there. You might have access to big bold and vibrant flowers, or you might be able to find more greenery and create a flower crown out of that. The location and the time is really gonna change what you're able to find, but it's really fun to create something based on that specific moment. So the great thing about foraging for your materials is that you can actually pick anything that you want for your crown. So in the winter time, even though things are more brown and dead, you can still pick things that have really great texture to them. Uh, roses have turned into really beautiful rose hips. There might be more berries or seeds. In the springtime and summer, you're going to get bright, vibrant colors. And if you're similar area to the Bainbridge Island Museum of Art, you're gonna have all these great array of greens that you can also add into your flower crowns. I also like to have three different um, principles when picking for foraged materials. The first being know what you're picking. Uh, something could be poisonous or you could be allergic to it. So you really wanna know what you're picking before you put it on your head. The second being, uh, pick responsibly. If there are, let's say, 10 daffodils, I like to pick one or two so that I'm leaving a lot more for the natural growing season. And the third one, being sure that you have permission where you're picking to forage for those materials, either asking a neighbor if you can pick in their yard or knowing if it's on public land where you can pick for these materials. So I've decided that I wanted to create my flower crown based off of these materials. So these beautiful pink flowers, these yellow daffodils, and these bay leaves. The first thing that you're going to have to do is you're going to have to prep your plants a little. So I'm pulling off any extra stems or leaves that are not needed. You want to keep more of your material that you're going to be using on the top part and you want about four or five inches of just the stem. So sometimes that might change. Um, based off of this one, I'm only going to get a few, but it still is going to be okay. I'm also going to cut off this extra part because I don't really want that in it. Okay, so the next thing you're going to want to prep is your material that you're going to use for braiding. You, to cut the right amount, you want to leave about 10 inches um, on the one side. Then you want to tie a knot. So to make it a little easier in that this doesn't move while you're braiding it, we're going to just take some tape. This is definitely optional if you want and you're gonna just wanna tape right above the knot. So to create this flower crown, you're gonna use a basic braid. So I'm just gonna show you how to braid in case you don't know. You want to separate the two colors, two sides into the outer V and have one going down the middle. I've used different colors just to showcase it easier how to braid. So I'm going to take the white one, which is the right one, and move that into the middle, and now the blue to the side. I'm going to take now my left side, which is the purple one, move that into the middle, and now move the white to the side. 
And you just keep doing that where you bring your outside material, outside string into the middle, into the middle, and that is how you create a basic braid. And so we are going to use this braiding concept to braid in our materials for our flower crown. So you kind of want to think about when you're starting to braid, how do you want to design your flower crown? This will be closer to the side back of your head. Then you get to this section, that's going to be the middle, the front part is the middle part right here. And then this is going to be the other side of your head. So how do you want to design and put your flowers in? Do you want it to create the same flower throughout? Do you want to create some kind of pattern? So think about that. I'm gonna create it where the sides of my head have this green material, and then the fronts of it is going to have the bright, vibrant flowers. So to braid it in, we're going to put the leaf, this bay leaf, um, with the middle item, so with this white string. And so now this bay leaf has become the what it's gonna be essentially the white string. You always wanna keep it with it. So now you're going to braid it in by bringing the left one or the right one over the blue one and move that into the middle and now I want to put a bay leaf with the middle one which is the blue one and I want to move the purple one over into the middle and keep that bay leaf with it and now I'm going to move another take another bay leaf and put it with the middle which is the purple now and bring the white string and the bay leaf that's attached to it to the middle so it's going to get kind of you're going to start to get a lot of materials in your hands but you can do it you want to also keep your braid semi-tight so that the items don't come out of it so now i'm going to add one of my pink blossoms in then a yellow one. And as you start to go along, your stems will start getting shorter because you've braided them in. That's okay. Just try to get it to the end of the braid if you can. And so now I'm gonna go back into my side stuff, side area. So adding those bay leaves back in. So now I've gotten to the end where I've braided my items in and so to close this up I'm going to take my strings to tie it off. So I'm going to go with the one of the strings one way and just wrap it around really tightly and then I'm going to go the other way with the other two and tie a knot. And now what I like to do is take the tape off. And what you might notice is you might want to, I want to cut this ending piece because I don't want all that stuff hanging out. So cut that away. You might also have ones where you weren't able to braid it in. It just kind of was too short to go into the other braid. So I'm just going to cut some of that off just so it's not sticking out, doesn't hit me. So you have this beautiful flower crown that you've created so you can Put it on, just tie a bow behind your head. You can tie it pretty tightly so it will stay on. You might need to adjust some flowers so that they're not hitting your face, but now you're ready to go out with your flower crown. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to share any work inspired by this project. And until next time, it's art in action. Mm -hmm.